Yo, what is up guys, Ashley's Gaming back with another video and for this video I'm gonna be doing the Emerald Quest Tactical End Fight on five of my characters, so keep in mind this is on my main team I am doing the 6 out of 6 achievement on the characters that haven't completed it yet so I needed the Emerald Quest on these five characters, Kra, Annie, Anu, uh, Masquerade and Fekka so in this video I'm gonna be doing the Emerald Tactical Fight um, at the end of the Emerald quest, I already completed the Crimson quest, but I did not record that. Keep in mind, once I will actually do these quests on the Iron Man team, I am going to plan to make like complete guides on them. This is just going to be like a quick walkthrough, um, because I, I was actually doing this on a stream. Um, I think when once this got uploaded, the stream was probably yesterday for you guys. So yeah, just... Uh, just watch the video, and if you've got any questions regarding the fight, let me know in the comments below. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next video. Bye. What he did is on turn one, he he just went like here. Didn't do shit. Then on turn two, hit intelligence, right? Then the thing is. On turn 3, his boss gained MP. And then he hit him. So we got now turn 3. He gains MP though. So, okay. And if I now hit him, and I'm gonna move here. This spell is 4 range though. So I swap with him and run. Is this this the tactic though? You feel like it's different every time? I don't think so. I mean, the cooldowns on the boss should stick. Like, they should actually say stay the exact same. Now I can swap. But he gains MP now, but I, I think... No, he gains MP... Next turn, okay. But now he hits me, okay. That's fine. Now I can, M I can just MP. Now he gains MP this turn, so I do have to be careful here. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reset the cooldowns. So I can swap with him now. Hit him, run. Hit him, run. Now he gains MP this turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna MP as well. Now I can heal. I think he will lose his MP, but I'm not 100% sure though. Okay. Now I can swap. Run. There we go. 
All right, let's go. That's one. So, okay, I think it all depends on if the boss is casting his 3 MP spell on turn 3 or turn 4. If he casts it on turn 3, then you can just repeat the exact same thing on the entire fight and then it's just done. So, let's remove this one. I, we don't need to watch that one again. Um, so, let's try this on the other characters as well. See if it's repeatable. Um, let's close the Masquerader for now. <clears throat> I've seen this before. Yes, it's, it's the Emerald quest fight. The final boss. Uh, it is for sure there are about three panels. Yes, so the thing is, it all depends on what you do on turn one. Because depending on where you go, the boss either will cast his... 3 MP spell on turn 3 or he will cast it on turn 4. So what I want to do now is I want to I, I want to bait him on using it now. So I think if I just go here then I should be chilling. There we go. And now I'm going to go in the corner. Nice. And now we can swap with him. There we go lit thank you for the follow and now we can just run away so this is the like first couple of turns basically what, what i want to do now i can heal run boss gains mp next turn so i'm gonna mp myself this turn uh hit run <clears throat> so either way if i hit him now and then end there i don't think he can hit me though let's try this one out because i could have gone like here i think he can hit me now right no he doesn't okay so that's cool so now i can swap with him but i think he will gain the mp though so Okay, yeah, he gained MP, but he can't hit me. But the thing is, he can... Also, he can't next turn, I think. Let's try. Let's see what's going on now. Yeah, normal hit. That's cool. MP myself. And I should be able to be fine here. Hit int. <clears throat> Next turn he gains MP. So what I'm gonna do now is... You know what? I don't even care he gains MP. You can hit me. Fine. There we go. I'm gonna swap with him. Run away. Heal. Run away. Uh, run away again next turn I got the intelligence spell let's tr see if we can finish this off with without resetting the cooldowns there we go we're gonna hit in uh, agility right now and bam and we can swap next turn he gains MP so we're gonna swap right now uh, he might be able to hit but it's all fine I think in like one I think he's dead this turn yeah there we go no next turn by the way so Theoretically, I could use the reset cooldowns and just kill him. But for the sake of the uh, the fight, I want to try to win without using the special spell. Which should be fine. Heal and then this time we can, can hit, kill him. There we go. That's two out of the five fights done. Let's close this one. We're going to do a next one. All right, we go here. Yeah, so you see, guys, he does not get get the MP buff now on turn three. He doesn't get it. Uh, 
So he gets the MP like next turn. I don't know, man. I don't know. Thank you for the hydrates. Thank you, Nayo. Uh, thank you, Royua. I mean, sorry. Like, after the first two turns, once you use some of these spells, there's like, you don't really have that much choice with what you're gonna do during the fight. Like, like you can't do that much. Because right now, for example, all I can do is go here. And swap with him next turn. There's no other options that I have. <clears throat> okay, so he gets MP next turn. Um, so what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna MP myself now. He's gonna end there, so I can hit with the agility one. Please don't tell me he gets MP again, right? Oh, he gets MP like two turns in a row. That's stupid, man. Like. At least he doesn't hit me, but it's still stupid. Like, what can he do? Like, he's gonna hit me now, right? Yeah, there we, there we go. And of course, I don't have... I'm gonna remove the cooldown, swap with him now. Uh, hit him with agility, run away. He's gonna get MP next turn. So that means that I'm gonna MP now. He's a jerk for sure, man. MP, run. Yeah, I mean hit. Nice. Now I all I can do is heal. But he's gonna gain MP. So what I can really do here is I know I have to swap next turn, but I know he's gonna gain MP as well. So all I can really do is just go into the corner and I mean if he's gonna hit me, he's gonna hit me, right? There's nothing I can do about that. So now I can swap with him. And all I can really do now is just go here. That's it. I can hit him right now. And... Because I don't have any cooldowns, right? So all I can do is run up. Hopefully he doesn't hit diagonally, which he doesn't. Now I have the MP spell ready. So I really need to use that one. So I'm just going to run up. See what he's going to do. Hopefully he's going to stay in line. Of, in line. Okay, he's, he does that. So I can hit with the int one. Run away. Now I need to wait for the agility spell to be off cooldown because I I need one hit on him, but also he needs like one hit on me. Uh, so uh, let's pray on that one. So now we we have to swap with him. We have no other choice. There we go. 400 HP and he's dead. Wow. All right. That's three out of the five done. Oh my God. We go again. All right. All right. What? He doesn't even get the MP, though. At all. Like, no, he doesn't get it, though. What? Look, he gains it on turn 5, so that's also even a possibility, so... He's gonna get the MP now, but no matter what I do, I, this is a fucked up one. Because I, now I can, I can swap with him, you see? But the problem now is he gets MP like back-to-back like -back turns and I'm cornered, so there's no way, nothing I can do about that. But at least he didn't get his like big damage spell, so now I can just run. Let me actually drag this up to the top again so you guys can see. We can hit him now. And with this turn we heal. I think uh, even though that's screwed up, like, it's not too bad actually. So, let's go here. 
Let's stay here because now we can hit agility and we run away because he doesn't get the MP. Next turn he has the MP. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap. Swap with him. He gains MP now. But he can't hit me. See? Now I will MP it myself. And he will lose his MP actually. But he gains MP again next turn. So that means that I'm going to run. And... I guess I could stay here, that's fine. So now we have a problem. Because he gained like MP like twice, I can't do anything. But let's see, actually does he get the... He can actually hit diagonally. So I feel like what I can do now is go here, reset cooldowns, swap with him. There we go. And he gains MP, so what I do is, I what I can do is go here. Now I can hit with the agility spell. Does he gain MP again? No, he doesn't, so I can just run away. And we should be okay for this fight. I think this is a win. Um, I will be healing. There we go. And I think... He will be able to hit me this turn, but I will actually let him. If he can, though, of course. He can't. Okay, so now we can swap with him. And we're gonna run here. He can't hit because he doesn't get the MP now. That's fine. So this fight, honestly, all just depends on when does Dark Flood get the MP buff. Because if he gets it, like, twice, like, back to back, and you are just done. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. There we go. One... Oh, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. I didn't want to go to Astrup, though. So, yeah. Where is my beautiful 1.29 music, though? Let's just go back. There we go. Final character. GG. Well, we got one more. It's not GG yet, though. Also, shouldn't you be sleeping? Alright, final character. There we go. The Enutroth. Let's see. So, boss is there. We go there. I said we go there. The boss does not MP buff himself. That's interesting. He gains MP next turn. Which is fine. We just go here. And now we can swap with him. There we go. Boom. We heal. We don't need to MP actually. Kids are still up, I can't go to sleep. Ah, I see, I see, I see, yeah. It is what it is with the kids, though, yeah. Nothing you could do about it, I guess. Alright, so now we need to check, because... He doesn't get the MP next turn. He has short range, he can't hit diagonally, so what I can do, I can just go like this. And go end here, because I don't think he can hit diagonally. There we go, and now we swap with him. And I think, let's, let's see. All right, he gains MP, which is fine, because now I can actually MP myself. We run away. We heal. We run away. He gets MP next turn, which is fine. We run away. Uh, I will be resetting the cooldown on this one. Because, like I said, he gained MP, like, twice in three turns, so we... If you are planning on doing this quest, you better get the reset cooldown spell, because I feel like this quest is fucked up. Alright, we heal. Run. <laughs> he gets MP next turn. So I'm just gonna calculate where he's gonna end. And he's gonna end there. Oh, 
boom and should be fine here we can swap there we go boom run back see it, it is all fine as long as he doesn't buff his mp like every single turn right so now he buffed himself mp but it's all fine because now i can buff myself the mp and i will just run away this turn i will use to heal but next turn he gets mp again but my spells are all off cooldown so all i can really do is just go into the corner there's nothing else i can do and this turn i look my spells are all off cooldown all i can do really is just um just go like in the corner like there's nothing i can do i can swap now i can swap with him now but nothing else i can do that's that's what you get if he gets like mp every single turn but at least his other spells were like off cooldown now i can hit him and just kill him all right so that's the last character um why oh my inner trough is actually in a different um island which is fine <clears throat> all right so let's talk to um gultard um david gultard from uh, formula one probably i don't know i mean he actually does look like him um there we go talk to him talk to mariana there we go and i think if i'm correct because i don't have the guide on me anyway i can't do that wait what there we go quest finished bon voyage emerald quest on five characters um yes we got the any still here let's actually make a quick little screenshot here boom and we grab this one as well gultard is in the lore is dump strong i guess so he doesn't look strong though there we go we got the quest done 